Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, so this lesson is going to be about um, Israel being in that slave mentality. As you can see, the guy in the photo right here, he's, uh, he's locked away in jail. All right, he's in bondage right now. And uh, you can see he has a stick. And he has the opportunity to either get a piece of bread or the key to free himself. But yet he chose to be locked away and eat than to be free and eat. See, that's the mentality of, of, of Israel. Israel has always had this mentality from the beginning and until the very end. And the only way for Israel to get out of that mentality is if the Lord comes back and puts them in a new reality. First, our people, two thirds are going to be they're going to be destroyed. They're going to be destroyed. They're going to be put to death. And then when they come back, they're going to be put in their right mindset and they're going to have that full understanding, which is the second covenant. All right. Which is when the kingdom is established. But our people now, they have a slave mentality. They would rather be somewhat comfortable in bondage than to free themselves. And the only way to truly free, free yourself is to have faith in Yahweh and His only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. And in order to do that, that means you have to obey them. All right, which means you have to follow the words, statutes, and commandments. But our people don't want to do that, so they would rather be in slavery, all right, to have their little treats while here in slavery. To have somebody over them, all right, a, 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 an unrighteous ruler ruling over them, uh, doing all manners of mischief and signing all manners of uh, unrighteous decrees and things of that nature. Like they, they want their king and they got it. The Lord always will give you, give you on to your, uh, your own lust. He will give you over to your own lust. And he has always done that. You know, ask and you shall receive. When Israel asked for a king, the Lord gave him one, but he, but he gave you a wicked one. Okay? So, you have to be careful what you ask for, because Israel got what they asked for. All right? So, you can see this man right here. This man has a slave mentality, just like our people. And I'm going to get an example of that and go show you how they still have the same mentality. This is uh, Numbers <clears throat> 11 and, and 1. It says, And when the people complained, it displeased Yahweh. And Yahweh heard it, and his anger was kindled. And the fire of Yahweh burnt, burnt among them and consumed them, that they were up in the utmost of the camp. And the people cried unto Moses. And when Moses prayed unto Yahweh, the fire was quenched. And he called the name of the place the Taber Taberha, because the fire of Yahweh burnt among them. All right, so the Lord was very upset because Israel was complaining, and they were ungrateful. All right, it says in the mixed uh, multitude that was among them fell f fell a lusting, and the children of Israel also wept again and said. Who shall give us flesh to eat? Remember the fish which we did eat in, in Egypt freely and the cucumbers and the melons and the, and the, and the leeks and the onions and the garlic. So, so Israel was complaining even though they were free. The Lord had displayed a miracle by having Moses walk through between two walls of water in the sea free them got them out of bondage out of egypt and yet they still complain and then they also served other gods they made a golden calf 
so so they breaking the law right after they got saved, man. That just goes to show the wickedness of our people. So they were talking about, man, we were basically saying we were in Egypt in slavery and freely ate cucumbers and melons and garlic and onions. Same thing right here. This man right here in this photo, he's in bondage. He's got a piece of bread or he can have the key. All right. He can have the key or he can have the bread. He chose to have the bread. All right. Because that was going to satisfy his fleshly desire that bread but that key that key is Yahweh Shai all right Yahweh Shai said I am the door walk through it I believe that's the scripture I believe that's the scripture all right but truly the key is the faith man Yahweh Shai is the door but Jake don't want that they want that bread like they say now in the world they use money as bread let me get this bread I got this bread they use this world as an excuse to be okay with being a slave. And Israel's always been a backbiter, a backslider, all right? You know, and et cetera, et cetera. Always been, you know, the type to to just be disobedient. Jake always wanted to be disobedient. This is Jeremiah 2 and 14. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Who is he spoiled? Oh, why is he spoiled? Well, he's spoiled because he's he's wicked. Our people are wicked. So the Lord gave you over to the to, to your enemies as a spoil. The Lord did that, man. The Lord did that on his own for, to punish our people, to punish us for our wickedness and, and the decisions that we made. You know? But how do you become free? How do you become, you know, a free man? Because it's really mental. Here it is. This is Romans 6 and 6. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. And serve right here is to be a slave. You look at the word slave, is to be a slave, to serve, to do service. So we're no longer obeying and do a service to sin. All right. We're, we're, we're no longer uh, slaves to sin. All right. We're more like servants and slaves to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now, if he be dead with Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Being raised from the dead, uh, dieth no more. Death has no dominion over him. So we'll be just like the Lord, man. All right. We'll be just like him. If we kill off the old person, the old man, we're no longer slaves to sin, man, but to righteousness. All right. So you break that cycle really mentally and, and spiritually. All right. You know, you don't you don't want to be here. You you have exited out of Babylon mentally because you know that there's nothing here for you. There's nothing here for you. This this, this place is completely finished, man. You you don't want to go back to bondage. You don't want to return back to Egypt. You want to make your journey towards the east, towards Jerusalem, Israel, home. That's where you want to face you want to face towards the east. You want to face towards our land and pray. And then eventually the Lord, if he has mercy, will put us on our land and we will dwell safely. And then we'll really be able to rule and we'll really be free. But until then, we are still here under our, our oppressors. But we do not have to spiritually follow them. Spiritually, we follow Yahweh by Shema Shai. We may have to deal with their everyday the everyday struggle of working and things of that nature and you know being slaves to their system but <laughs> we are truly slaves to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and serve him we are truly his servants so we serve the Lord all right that's how you break this thing that's how you break the the the, the chains as they say so with that I want to give all honor glory and praise to 
Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai.